Hey G Squad, how y'all doing? So, as you can see by the title in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I made these Portobello mushroom burgers. So, if you'd like to see how I put this meal together, then keep watching. All right, G Squad, welcome to the channel. So, you should know by now, whenever I'm doing a voiceover, that means New York is Yorkin'. So everything that I'm using today for this recipe, I will list it in the description box along with the measurements. All right, family. So what I'm going to do first is take a damp paper towel and clean the mushrooms. I'm also going to remove the stem and clean out the, the gill, which is that black part, and then make sure I just dry it with a paper towel. All right, family, so now that I have my mushrooms cl clean, uh, we're going to direct our attention to these bowls. So in one bowl, I have some all-purpose flour. I have some uh, egg um, in one bowl. I am going to add another egg later on because one wasn't enough. And then in this third bowl that I'm adding this uh, grated Parmesan cheese to, I have some panko breadcrumb. So now all my dry ingredients, I'm just going to add them to the, the panko, not the flour, just the panko. So I'm going to add some salt, onion powder, garlic powder, black pepper, and paprika. All right, so the next step is we're going to now take our, um, our mushroom and I'm going to first coat it in this flour. Then once it's coated in the flour, I'm going to move on to the, um, to the uh, egg wash, egg batter. And then the final step is to add it into the, um, the, the panko crumbs. And now off to the side, I do have a, a baking sheet lined with parchment paper because uh, after I dip it in the egg wash and uh, remove the excess egg, I'm going to actually put it on this um, baking sheet. And that's how we're going to bake it in the oven on uh, 400 degrees. So now this process is a little... Um, little messy so just have some patience that's why wouldn't I and I grabbed the spoon and so I'm just trying to get all my egg um, batter inside the um, inside the mushroom because I want to make sure I cover this mushroom thoroughly with this egg wash All right, so once you're done prepping your mushrooms and adding them on uh, this parchment paper, you're gonna take some cooking spray. I just happen to have olive oil, but in any case, you're just gonna lightly spray them. And then as I said, you're gonna put them in a 400 degree oven and allow them to bake anywhere from 20 to 25 minutes. And then halfway through, you're going to actually turn them over. All right, family, so I wanted to make a nice little sauce to go with these mushroom burgers. So with these three ingredients, which consist of mayo, Dijon mustard, and lemon juice, I'm going to make just a nice little simple sauce to go with this burger. 
And as I said earlier, the uh, measurements and the ingredients that I used today to make this um, dish will be located in the description box. All right, G-Squad, so it's been about 12 minutes, and so now as you can see, this is what the, uh, how the, the uh, mushrooms are looking. You see they're nice and crispy and have a nice brown coating to them. So now I'm turning these over, and then I'm going to hit it with the spray again, just a light spray, and then pop them back in the oven until this side browns and forms a nice little crispy texture. All right, so I'm down to the last couple of minutes. So what I'm gonna do is prep my bread. And of course, I love to use Brigio. So I'm gonna pop it in the toaster and then I'll be back.
All right, G Squad. So I present to you my version of Porta Bella mushroom burgers. Y'all, you see how, how crispy and golden brown that they came out. And so I just decided to add a um, baked potato with it as opposed to having the fries. But you can pair it with anything you want. You can even just have it like this. But y'all, take a look at that nice and crispy and flavorful. The one thing I did forget to do was add my red onions, but I did at off camera. So family, I hope you have enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.